My name is Danny Walker. This is my husband, Jack, and he's a, he's a handsome guy. Um, <laughs> but in 2004, at the ripe old age of 31, he was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, and it hit us like a brick wall. Like it was that curveball none of, none of us expected. He was a very healthy, fit guy, climbed trees his whole life, I never had any issues with his health whatsoever, and then one day he just got sick and he could not get better. And six months of testing, finally we got a diagnosis of this strange disease we'd never heard, heard of before. And it was a three-year battle between a pulmonologist and a nose and throat specialist and a rheumatologist that couldn't get him any better either. And uh, high-dose prednisone and all these different things didn't seem to work, didn't seem to help. And finally, after three years of medical treatment, um, they wanted to start on some other medications as well. And he said, you know, I, I know right where this is going to lead. I've, I have family members who take five and six, seven and eight prescriptions every day, and I'm not going to be one of those people at 40 years old who's trying to figure out if it's the symptoms of the disease or the side effects that are worse. So he, he refused any further medical treatment. And for a year after that, this was about 2000, beginning of 2008, for a year we were in research mode, try everything mode, desperate. we got to figure out alternative medicines that are going to help. If it's acupuncture, great. If it's massage, chiropractic, if it's Chinese tinctures, we're doing it. We're trying it. And finally, in May of 2009, we found Focoidin and Spectrumax, which are two of the age reversal products, the liquid formulas I shared about a little about earlier. Sarcoidosis is an autoimmune disease that causes tumors to grow in different areas of your body, in different organs of your body. These tumors are, are benign, not malignant, so it's not a cancer, but it can still be fatal. Many, many people have died from this disease, and when it gets in your lungs is when it causes the most problems. And Jack had it in his lungs and his lymph nodes and around his heart and his mediastinum, so it was pretty serious. And uh, like I said, medical treatment wasn't doing anything for him. He was in worse condition than when he was diagnosed. But we started on Focoidin and Spectrumax. He hadn't been taking any prednisone or doing any medical treatment for almost a year. And I had given up hope. After five years of fighting this disease, I just felt like, you know, forget it. There's nothing that's going to help him. And, and, you know, just in all honesty, I didn't know how long I was going to have my husband around. But Jack, with this beautiful smile on his face all the time, refused to give up. And he really shrugged his shoulders and said, Danny, it's not going to hurt me. This is just food. You know, I mean, we tried so many other things. I cannot not try this. We can't say we tried everything if I don't try this too. So he started taking it. Three months later, not only was his energy level up, his pain level down, because it's very familiar like lupus and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, you get really tired and everything aches and hurts. But his lymph nodes, that all of his specialists said this was completely impossible, but his lymph nodes actually started softening. And you can see them there in that before picture on the, on the um, right side of his chin. He had a hole strained all the way down around his heart and in his lungs as well, all swollen. Six months, guys, all those lymph nodes were back to their normal size. Three years later, he goes in for a follow-up, and the doctor says, I wouldn't even know you ever had sarcoidosis if you hadn't told me because you don't have any scar tissue. You don't have any granulose tumors. You're in perfect health. So I share that story with you because I want to challenge each and every one of you tonight. There are millions of people. Sorry, I get a little emotional. There are millions of people with diseases on this planet that we we have the opportunity to help, and we get to be the messenger. That's all we are. We just get to share a really awesome message, and they get to decide what they want to do with it. We had no idea three and a half years ago what Sizzle International could, could provide us, but we were hopeful, and that little bit of hope has come a really long way.